hello everyone in this video i'm going to demonstrate how you can toggle gpio of raspberry pi from the web so let's get started let me go ahead and log in to raspberry pi what ssh so once we have logged in uh let me go ahead and download the web io pi so this is nothing but the library we use for web-based uh, raspberry pi gpio control uh let me unzip it before we can install we need to install a small patch for raspberry pi 2 and above and that would be this so the patch is installed now we can go ahead and run the setup so the setup would uh you know install any dependencies like for example this would need python so if you have if you don't have python installed it would do that for you in the background as you can see it's already the you know the, i have already a python installed on this so it's just bypassing that and uh, installing the library for you know uh you know the web bio pi, web bio, uh, pi for the python so this might take a while and once it's done i can go ahead and you know run it but do, i don't need this one so i'm just going to skip it for now so next would be just uh, going ahead and running the script so the default i'm just going to go ahead and execute the default config file so i just remember that yeah i think i'm going to uh, go ahead and modify this uh, yep so uh, the config file looks to be working the next step is to modify the you know my custom script so let me i have already created a custom script i'm just going to explain what i have done and uh, how i can you know uh, create a button to toggle the gpio so let me go ahead and open the python script first so here what i'm doing is i'm opening the web io pi uh, library uh, this is internally going to map with the GPI of Raspberry Pi, I have uh, you know I'm experimenting the data time function so that I can remotely or you can see automatically toggle a GPI based on the uh, set date and date. Uh, basically, it's the uh, set hour of the day. Uh, as you can see here, at 8 a.m. it's going to turn on, and at, at 6 p.m. it's going to turn it off. Anyway, uh, we're not bother about that right now. So uh, our only worry is about toggling the GPIO. So here I have uh, initialized the variable light, which is mapped to the GPIO 25 of the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I guess uh, this is the only thing we need to worry about, where we are telling the uh, you know the we are setting it setting the GPIO 25 as output. The rest of the things we do not worry. And at the end, the destroy function or method pretty much in a talk or you know sets the gpi 25 of raspberry pi as low so let me go and exit next would be the actual web page here uh, it's pretty much a simple web page so what we're doing is that we're drawing a button and uh, when we click on the button uh, it's going to send the parameter as 25 this is nothing but a gpi 25 and the string or you can say the title of the button would be uh, light and uh, yeah that's pretty much here we are you know pretty much uh, opening the button to the page and uh, uh, it periodically it does refresh this is the property of the button uh, you can see it's like when you tap uh, when you clear the button is low it's black when it's uh, set to high it will be blue that's uh, pretty much it with respect to the code and going further uh, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the config file and I have done this for testing purpose so here I have uncommented 25 since the we are going to toggle the GPI 25 when it's initialized I'm setting the output as 1 when we deinitialize we're setting it as low and along with that I've created a variable which is mapping to my script here which is at the home pi light and this is a script which i just showed a while back we need not worry about all these things and uh, the doc root is pointing to again the root directory that's light and we have an html index of html there uh, that's what i have mentioned here and apart from that uh, you know these are all the libraries or in you know, a peripherals which are supported by you know web 
uh, I am going to paste the link in the description uh, which kind of explain details about all the sensors like you know PWM or temperature sensors, IO expanders, etc. Uh, in the REST API, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to export the GPI 25 because that's the one which you're toggling. We're going to make, ensure that the post value is un uh, we are forbidding the changes uh, and this uh, push function we are not really caring about it. Uh, that's pretty much it now I can go ahead and execute the script uh, or you can say the configuration and if I visit the web page uh, that would be the uh, IP address of my yep that's it and the port is 8000 you can see the light uh, I mean you get the light button so if I tap on this, the LED should toggle. So let me quickly, you know, switch over to Raspberry Pi. You can see that the the GPIO or the GPIO is already set, so LED is glowing here. Uh, so when I'm going to tap here, you can see the LED has turned off. So that's as simple as it gets. Uh, that's pretty much I can show in this uh, demo video. Uh, do comment. In the comment section if you need more uh, information or any help with this and I'll try my best to help you out do like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you